Welcome to this week's Gibbs Cam video. Today we're going to show you basically how to machine this part on a Haas UMC 750 5 axis machine. Uh, but of course, this could be run on any 5 axis machine, but this one we have the machine simulation as well for this. So I have my tools open now. Let's just run down through the tools. Half inch, just a roughing end mill, a 3 8 end mill flat bottom, quarter inch ball end mill, quarter inch bull nose end mill with a 20 thou radius on the corner, a tapered chink ball end mill, another tapered chink ball end mill, eighth of an inch for engraving, a chamfer tool, and the last tool is really not a face cutter, but we're using a fan to blow off the chips at the end. So I just created a fly cutter with the diameter of the fan that we're going to use on here. So this is our part here. You can see it has some unique features, some fins, has an internal bore. And we're actually going to do some engraving on the inside of this bore here. And unique features out here as well. So let's open up the cam portion of that. It's not a very big part here. It's only three inches by about two inches. And um, let's bring up our stock here. Here's our stock. This is what we're starting out with, a rectangular piece of aluminum stock. We'll just put that away back in the body bag. Open up our cam and tool. And the first operation we're going to do is a volume mill toolpath here. This time I'm just using wireframe toolpath to go around that. Here's my wireframe. And give it your depths and speeds. And the second op is going to be basically the same thing. But we're just kind of facing off taking the finish pass on each side there. And as well as the other side there. And then we're going to just clean up the edges here um, for the final cut uh, for these three faces here. And then we'll go to the next tool. So we'll render up to that point so you can see what we're doing. So let's run through the tool number one. using volume mill on the first side then we're flipping it over and cleaning up both faces so that's tool number one there and if we turn on the machine sim you can see that's our Haas UMC 750 I've removed the sheet metal on here pretty easy to remove sheet metal and let you look at the internals of it pretty easy just by using this button here you can turn things on or off as you need to so I kinda uh, hid the sheet metal in the front so it's a little easier to see. So the next operation we're going to do is we're going to cut the cavities inside here. And this I'm just using, let me bring over the process, I'm using the surface pass here and as soon as it changes over surfaces and we're just morphing between two curves. I have my first curve and my second curve, we're only going halfway down there and we're coming in from each side. We're doing a spiral cut and if I go to my tool axis control, this is five axis and we're actually tilting through a curve and this tilt curve right here is right here. Now I just have it straight because that's really all it needs to be but you can make this a curve if you want and have it follow as it goes down inside there but you can see the tool path there and the next side, bring that up same thing here to go to the opposite side then they kind of meet meet in the middle or overlap in the middle just a little bit so let's go through that simulation on there so we'll turn the machine on and then we'll turn it off so we can see a better view of it but so it changes tools comes back and now we have our spiral cut in here and as it goes down, it will clean up the middle of this, as you will see. Let me speed it up a little bit. And 
And as we get down to the bottom, then it's going to come out and flip over to the other side. And there we have the other side. Now we can turn off machine sim if we want and just see the vise with the part. Speed it up a little bit. And when it gets done, you'll see it'll retract up and out. And there we have our bore finished. Let me turn off the machine. We can see down inside the bore there. A little bit of view there, you can see. So we have our bore cut from both sides. In reality, when I cut this, I had a little smaller steps in there, but I sped this up a little bit, so it's a little bit coarser on the steps here. So the next operation we want to do is we're going to cut these sides here. So you can see this is a pretty unique tool path as well. It kind of follows the curve, goes around there, roughs this out, and takes a finish. Turn machine zoom back on. Taking multiple passes on here. Same thing with the opposite side. So now we have that roughed out. Now we're taking a finish pass with the tapered ball end mill. Again, I've stepped up the step overs a little bit so you're not taking five minutes to watch this and the opposite side and now we have the inside done turn off the machine and those two surfaces there so the next operation we want to do let's get past there as we're going back to tool number four, which is our quarter inch end mill. And we're going to rough out these blades on the top here. So if I bring up the operation and the process, we're just doing the five axis uh, module as well. Multi-axis machining, roughing, offset from the floor, and a few other things here. We're leaving some stock there and I have gouge check on and some links and of course surface paths uh, we're selecting one way climb and regions turn on machine sim We'll speed this up a little bit. Now that was kind of a rough, then we're kind of doing a semi finish here with the same tool. And now what's left is for the finish tool to come and take a finish pass. So let's look at that operation there. That will be tool number five. We're basically spiraling down these fins here. I open up the process. Of course the five axis module, surface paths. We're going between two curves. I have my first curve up here and my second curve down below.
change tools. And we actually have the tool tilting away. It's a little bit hard to see, but the tool is actually tilting away from these fins. It's not going straight down on there, otherwise you have more of a vibration. So you can give it the tilt angle so it stays away from the surface. So it's kind of uh, not cutting with the tip of the tool, but kind of on the side of the ball. We'll speed this up. It gets a little busy there on the screen, but you get the idea. We'll kind of speed that up. Slow this back down just a little bit. So our next tool path is tool number six, which is the ball end mill that we're going to engrave inside here. So I just have basically the geometry flat uh, and it's curving this way just to kind of match the inside of the bore there. But we're just doing a projection on there. So let's bring up that process. Of course, the five axis module again, surface paths. And that surfaces project curves. So on the projection, you select the letters. I'm only going halfway through here because the engraver cannot, cannot reach all the way. And then we're coming to the other side. So I have the projection. The drive surface, of course, is going to be the inside of this bore. And of course, you'll put your feeds and speeds, tool axis control, five axis. Again, I'm tilting through a point this time, and it asks you for the tilt point. And you can click here and you can find the point, which is out here. And of course, everything else is on here, links, everything else. So let's run through the engraving there. And we'll slow it down just a little bit. But this gives you a better idea of what it's doing here. We'll play. So there we have our engraving inside there. Next tool path. It's going to be the deburring tool path. That's with uh, tool number seven over here, which is our chamfer tool. So in this case here, I put some uh, markers on here. You can see some little edges poking out here. This means when the tool gets to this point, I want it uh, parallel with this line and basically perpendicular to this line out here. So let's run through the deburring. And there you can see what it's doing. Let's turn on the machine sim so you can see exactly what it's doing on the machine. Zoom it up a little bit so you can see it better. And the opposite side, of course. And then we're all done with the deburring. Turn off machine sim. Then basically the last tool path is just the fan. So you're really not going to see that cutting, but we'll play it anyway. So when we did this, let's look at it actually how it would be on the machine. So that was the fan going around there. I did it at a 45 degree angle to try and blow all the chips off as much as I could. But this is how to program a part on the 
Haas UMC 750, or you could do this on any machine, uh, five axis machine that you like. So let's show you what the actual part looks like when it's done. So this is the actual finished part here. And as you can see, here's the engraving inside the part. I'd also like to thank my customer, Richard V, who actually designed this part that we're using here today. It's a well thought out part, shows a lot of nice, a lot of nice features on machining and five axis. So thank you, Richard. Thank you for watching. And as always, I welcome your comments.